We're gonna start this off with uh, just a regular pot here, a little bit bigger than the normal. Of course, you gotta put some water in the bottom, maybe like two inches. All right, starting off, you gotta have your pot. You gotta have your oyster shell or a rock. Everybody asks what it's for. That's to put in the bottom of the pan to keep the, the basket from burning to the pan. We always cook, we cheated a little bit, and cook the crabs so you don't have to sit here 40 minutes and watch the crabs cook, but we're gonna put them in here. We put them in the basket, right in the, into the pot. You did a good job. Just you like that. You wanna hand that to daddy? You get ready to hand that to daddy, okay? Daddy, she's got your salt. Where's my salt at? Daddy, she's got your salt. Where's that salt at? So I just got it. Okay. My helper's got the salt. We don't season them, we salt our crabs. So try that, you will today. You can season them to your liking, but salt is our actual home recipe. A lot of salt, not a little bit, obviously. Thank you. Can you put that, that back in the trash back here? They're already warm, we're not gonna have to wait too long to cook, but I've got y'all some live crabs to look at. Has anybody got any question about what's a male or a female, you can come up here and look or get closer so you can look. Look, these crabs here, see the U that's on the bottom of the crab right there? The, the red claws, that gives them away as being a female crab. See the U rather than the male like this right here. This is a male crab. This big one's a male right here. If anybody, anybody come alone, anybody here by themselves, we can give you one to take home with you so you're not by yourself. Preferably most of the time people use, uh, do a lot of eating of just like a regular male crab like, like this one here. These crabs here would be more like a jumbo size crab. Uh, the females typically go to a picking house like, uh, you know, the Madame Mesquite Seafood or somewhere like that or whatever. That's what they do a lot of processing of the females to get what you'd get at the grocery store as a regular. Now typically all my crabbing's done in the north end of the Curry Tuck Sound. About right here is the dividing line between the females stay more towards the salt water and the males go to the north into the fresh water. Like if you go into Chesapeake Bay, the females are caught towards the mouth of the bay and the males are caught up towards Maryland. That's why there's a big thing in Maryland that they've got all the male crabs or whatever like that. Uh, the north end of our sound is Curry Tuck up there where I live, or you can go west into Albemarle, like towards the Chowan River. That's where not all the male crabs, but the bigger, better, best go far up those rivers as they possibly can. We got a few minutes to let these things get good and hot. They're already pretty good to go. Typically, we would wait like uh, it might would take like 40 to 50 minutes. It depends on how much water you put in the bottom of the pot to how long it takes them to cook. If you put a lot of water, it'll take longer. The way to check them is, if you break the crab claw, regular claw, there's the biter. If you break the crab claw off, and when you pull it out, if all the meat comes out of it, they're done. If the meat sticks to the shell, that would mean that the meat isn't ready yet. So you have to make it so when the meat comes out of the shell, just like this, this one here should break and come right out when you pull it out. It shouldn't be all stuck in the shell like that or they're not actually cooked. You want your taste tester? Your taste tester. Yeah. Here. We'll have Cypher, my daughter here. She'll make sure that these are okay. Is this okay? Yeah, they're pretty good. The only problem with her is she doesn't quit. Would you like some more? Here, let me have that crab. Here. Fill that hand with some. I'm going to show you all a couple things on how to eat a crab that's going to kind of surprise you, but uh, it'll be something new to you that will help you pick your next crab so you're not starving while you're eating crabs. Where are those? Okay. Got where daddy's gloves? Good. First thing we're going to do is we're going to break his back off like that. And of course, break him in half. I'm going to use the other half because it's got a claw on it. The easiest way to pick this crab is, of course, 
This here is the back fin. That's the, that's the lump crab meat, jumbo lump, whatever you want to buy. That's his back big tidal fin like that. The next thing is the claw. You want to break the claw right off? Same way I broke them a minute ago. See this like this? You turn them on their side, and it doesn't take that much. All it takes is a bump. Like I almost hit that crab too hard. But see, just like this, that's the claw meat. That's, that's the big part of the claw. The other one, if you break this, the bottom piece section, when you break it, if you push right there, well, that one didn't break as easy, but it still came out like it's supposed to. But that wouldn't surprise you any. This is the easier part that everybody needs to know how to do a crab. I've broke the back off and I've broke the claw off. The other part you need, I'll do it a couple more times so everybody sees. When you hold the crab like that, this is upright, upside down, turn him upside down and press right there, just like that. And these little points underneath the legs right there come up. And see, that's all the meat out of that section of that crab like that. Like, you can press some more meat out of this part of that crab, but that's pretty much your crab meat right there. I mean, that's a lot of what's, you can pick more out of what's right here, but that's the main part of those legs that everybody fights for, I don't know how long to get out. These legs, right? be careful. These legs right here, they do have meat in them. If you get a decent sized crab, they do have meat in, in each little leg, just like that. You can break them off right at the section there. Even if they don't come out, you can press them out, just like that. You can eat that, that's all good meat in that leg that nobody really eats. So one more time. This one doesn't have a claw, so I don't have to break the claw section off. This is gonna be the entire crab this fast. That's gonna be the back lump meat. Oh, you want it, don't you? She could marry a crab. She wants it all. You don't understand. She could eat them all day, every day. She got it on us. That's my favorite food to eat myself still right now as a crab. I prefer a crab over anything there is. Okay. Once again, this is the main thing I want everybody to see that's easy to do. All you gotta do, that's, this is the bottom of the shell. You kind of push up towards the legs and down with the legs and pull them points out like that, and there's all that meat. Look, it's nothing but meat. That's nothing but meat, that easy. Like These, if you don't have a whole lot of time, you can break them all like this and pull them, and sometimes they'll work, and if they don't, all you do is break them off and squeeze them. They'll come right out just like that. Okay, the claw is not on this crab piece. I'm gonna do it one more time. Here comes the blunt meat. That's always the easiest. Everybody can pick that piece of meat. That's nothing to it. It seems like everybody, I'm sorry. This is the part that seems to, everybody's got their knife and they're fiddling with it and playing and everything. If you hold it just like that, press on the bottom, these points come up in between the legs. This one wants to shred a little bit, but either way, it'll come out of there like that. That one's gonna shred just a little bit. Every once in a while you get one that sticks a little bit worse than others. Careful for that fire cipher. Thank you. That's right. That one doesn't have many legs, but we'll work with it. They work the same way if they have legs or not. If they've just got those little nubs like that, you Put can right still just hold them. Perfect. And roll that piece over, and all the meat comes out like that. Once again, you can press this piece of meat and get another little taste, but that's pretty much the show. Do we have any uh, questions for Hunter? Would anybody like to hold a live crab? Any uh, kids? Selfie, uh, selfie anybody want crab? a pet? Anybody need a pet? We got some good ones. Uh, yeah. Okay, young, you want to come on up? Okay, we got a young man here as a future crab. He's gonna hold a crab. He wants a crab here. We'll he get well, this one's sure enough safe. Why don't you show him how to properly hold one so he doesn't get bit? Well, he doesn't have any claws. We can do that. Oh, he might want to learn how to hold a real one. Oh, uh, he can hold one. Don't get it close to anybody. That's how you got laid, look, right? Look. Don't stick your finger under there because he can reach there. See how his claw come around like that and get you? You can hold him off the end like that. You can hold him by the claw like that. You can hold him by the back fin like that. You can grab him by the face. But you don't want to get under the crab like this because he can reach that claw around and See eat your fire? finger off. See that fire? Stay close to daddy. You still got you. Look, grab him right here like this. Latch on. Latch on. Don't be scared of him. Just don't let him get around to that thumb. See that big claw? Because it does not feel good. 
If he does get you, you'll remember not to next time. These crabs are ready. I don't know. Like I said, the way to check that crab is to break that claw, and if the meat comes out, that's how we always use that as the on when they're ready. You got her. Of course, we have authentic crabbing gloves. We can't go anywhere without having gloves for something. They're fine. I'm just draining them. Can you please carry that to the end of the stage? Okay. And Daddy will get it for you. From you. You got that? Now if you have if you have any questions uh, for